Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this Tuesday morning mountain weather update. Let's go to radar first, and you can see our front pushing that area of snow through Idaho. Uh, it's on the doorstep of the Tetons, and it is moving through the Wasatch right now with some quick accumulation. There's your radar out of Salt Lake, and it's still not through yet, but you can see it. It is sliding straight across the Wasatch, and it'll roll right over the, uh, the Hyuwintas, uh, and then into Colorado by this afternoon. Uh, let me take you up to Alta there in Little Cottonwood Canyon, reporting about three or four inches of new snow, and you could still get another two or three inches. It's possible before all is said and done, but it's nice to see some new snow up there um, in the Wasatch. We'll take a closer look at Alta's forecast in just a second. I wanna show you the water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, the drier air aloft is in the oranges and the reds. Your moisture aloft is right here in the whites and the blues, and that's the front that is driving its way through the inner mountain headed towards Colorado um, by this afternoon. Big area of low pressure up here in BC. Another area of low pressure behind it, that becomes a key player in the forecast. And um, some of that's gonna head towards uh, the West Coast and then move into the interior. And then down the road, there's still some energy that comes out of the South and turns into a, a pretty strong area of low pressure, may even combine with some of this or pull in some of this tropical moisture um, down the road for parts of the Four Corners, uh, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah. So all of that is in my forecast. Let me show you my latest key dates for best odds of snow in the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior BC. So for example, in the Wasatch, moderate snows through today, moderate accumulations, and that's sort of where we're landing right now as far as uh, what I can tell. Um, on 11-12. 11-15, 11-16 would be the next chance, but it's light snow accumulations. And then moderate accumulations coming on 11-18, 11-19. Through interior BC, your heavy snow streak, heavy snow pattern continues through 11-13, 11-14, um, with some pretty big accumulations, especially on the higher peaks in interior BC. 11-16, 11-17, heavy snow accumulations during that two-day time frame. Um, so let me just take a quick look at let me take you back to Alta and show you um, what the forecast is potentially here going to uh, gonna look like. So um, this is a meteorogram, a forecast over the next basically three, three and a half days. Down here in this column, and the elevation for this is about 8,800 feet. So down here, this is the snow forecast column. And you can see the accumulations should continue through uh, about noontime into early afternoon. But the best accumulations are this morning. It's just light into the afternoon. So we could still add another two, three, maybe four inches at the very, uh, on the very highest peaks up there in the Wasatch. So, and some of the winds today could certainly gust to maybe 40, even close to 50 miles per hour. Um, so that's something to watch out for. So snow and wind with the forecast and this front that's rolling right through the Wasatch uh, today. Okay, let me just show you what uh, the jet stream is going. Actually, you know what? Let me take you into the time height forecast. Let's go into Colorado next. So this is Arapahoe Basin up on the Continental Divide in Colorado. This is a humidity forecast for all the layers of the atmosphere, looking at a vertical slice for the next 72 to 80 hours. Timelines at the bottom, you can read that from right to left. And you can see that little area of green with the front that slides in this afternoon, tonight, early tomorrow morning across A Basin, Loveland, Winter Park, Keystone, the whole, all the Front Range High Peaks, I-70, the Elks, all of that will get this quick shot of snow and a little bit of lift with that. And then it's all dry air. The dry air really takes over um, immediately behind this uh, tomorrow and midday into the afternoon. And then it's dry for at least a couple of days. As far as snow up there at Arapahoe Basin, thinking probably two or three inches, and that's what's indicated right here as well. Uh, there may be a couple of spots high up that get four inches out of all this, but the front is just moving so fast. Okay, here is that jet stream forecast. So by the end of business today, you can see the dip in the jet coming out of Utah, Wyoming, and moving through Colorado. That is going to be our cold front. Moving into the future, here comes the next storm system diving into California, the West Coast, and then some of that, again, goes right into the Inner Mountain. But look at the energy on the southern end of this on, on 11-16, goes all the way down to parts of the southern tier and, and parts of Mexico even before it all begins to move back to the north. That may draw in some tropical moisture. So by 1118, we've got a nice trough and a storm system sliding through um, the Intermountain West, right through Colorado, New Mexico, and the Four Corners. Still there on 1120, 
The low is still spinning on 1121. You can see it. It's almost cut off from the flow. All right, let's put some precip on all this. So the forecast, radar and satellite. Uh, so there it is by 530 this afternoon. That snow has transitioned out of Utah, Wyoming, and into a lot of Colorado. Uh, that's where the blue is, another storm hitting the Pacific Northwest. So by tomorrow morning, big storm in the Pacific Northwest, storm of Colorado's fading into nothing. And then that storm on the West Coast starts to move down towards the Sierra, Tahoe North into Shasta. Washington, Oregon getting in on this action. Um, then the storm moves into the northern tier, and there's some energy coming into California again here at 11.14, 11.15. That moves into the interior. This is 11.16 in the morning. Some snow for Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. And then that kind of fades, but watch what happens to the south. Here comes that area of low pressure. This is 11.18. There's also another storm on the back side of this curling in to this trough. So a lot of things coming together here. I'm, I'm kind of wondering how much of a merger we're going to see with all this energy. 11.18 in the afternoon, snow over Colorado, maybe some snow for Denver. You've got snow over a lot of Utah, Idaho, Montana, the Pacific Northwest. And then everything sort of swings through the inner mountain. Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and then a retrograding area of low pressure backs its way into Wyoming and back into Colorado by 11.21 because that trough is still sitting there. So everything kind of gets attracted to that basin. All right, my latest uh, snow forecast numbers look like this so basically all of today through tomorrow um, one to four inches in a lot of colorado um, and maybe another two three four inches over the top of the wasatch the very highest wasatch six down at bryant head one to three up there in the tetons and big sky double digits possible up along the coastal range of bc and pacific northwest okay second time period this is 11 14 through 11 21. we'll start in the sierra three to maybe six inches will probably do it as these storms kind of brush that area six to ten for the wasatch four to eight up there maybe four to ten for the tetons and big sky now in colorado new mexico really the beneficiaries of that large low that comes out of the south um, and you can see potentially double digit accumulations uh, from northern New Mexico all the way through southern Colorado, maybe even up to I-70 in the central and northern mountains. We could be looking at 8 to 12 inches up there, but some pretty big numbers possible across Colorado with this. And this is the combination of like two, maybe even three storm systems. Um, some other pretty good numbers up there in B.C., looking at uh, one, two, a couple of feet up there possible through uh, interior as well, Revelstoke down to Red Mountain. A little bit less as you kind of go down into Banff. Um, but looking pretty good during this time period, 11.14 to 11.21. Let me take you back to the, the first time period. So today through tomorrow, pretty light accumulations with the cold front, and then everything spills in for 11.14 to 11.21. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it on this Tuesday. Have a great day.